Hey guys, it's Nikki, and in this video I will be explaining what the primitive accumulation is. Interested? Stay to find out more. Previously we talked about how money transforms into capital. And now let's talk about the accumulation of capital. That is using the surplus money as capital, or put it simply, when you invest your profit back into your business for more profit. But Marx was interested in what's called the primitive accumulation or that is the mechanism of the first accumulation ever, how was it done and on what cost. For him the vital condition for the first accumulation to happen is separating the people from the means of production. Why would our Tom work for you if he has everything necessary for his living? He wouldn't. So the first step was to deprive the people from their land. They lost not only their homes but also their fields or their way of making a living. Now they needed to buy food and homes which was even better for the capitalists. As for how was it done, Marx put it simply, stealing, lying and bribes. So now the people needed to work for the capitalists in order to survive, but the science and technology has a fast development under the pressure of capital, which caused decreasing in the variable capital in account for the constant capital. Or what that means is that it's more profitable to buy machines instead of hiring people. The result from that is loss of value of human labor, low pay and unemployment. Perfect! That created a working class with normal degree of dependency. Who cared that they died like ants and lived in misery? The accumulation was flourishing. The main point for Marx to look into this subject is actually his conclusion that the capitalist private property is a devil's creation. Ok, maybe not so dramatic, but he was convinced that that is one of the keystones of the capitalist system and the main problem of society, or the working class at least. That's why in communist society there isn't any private property, because when the land is owned by the country, everybody is equal, because the means of production are shared among everybody. Or that's the key idea behind it, but we all know too well that there is a difference between the theory and the practice. That was it guys, the last video about Marx, now you know the basics of his theory and you can dive into reading his book, if you want to of course. Or check my next video about Sigmund Freud. So if you are interested click on to the nerdy bird to subscribe and if you want to actually read the book click here or just get the whole series from here. If you like this video thumbs up and leave me a comment what do you think. But if you are not feeling like typing just watch some of my other videos, you might like them. Until next time, bye!